Hello, my people. A very good day to you. Welcome to another episode of the Kanji Talk here on Haman Manyora's YouTube channel. Remember, this is Kenya's most comprehensive political and public governance analysis show. My good name is Evan Sokini, and I'm always glad to bring you up to date with comprehensive analysis of all that is taking place in this country and across the borders. Well, right now I'm here with Professor Haman Manyora. How are you, sir? Good. Mm. This is what the ground is saying, so to say. Which ground? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I ground, son. When you are saying something, the ground, you had people, <laughs> this is what the ground is saying. Okay, let's hear. Now, the ground is saying, and he's talking actually, this is what the ground is saying, that the kind of political relationship that the deputy, uh, the, the, the president, Honorable uh, William Ruto, and Raila Odinga are enjoying right now, is responsible for the manner in which the deputy president, Rigathi Gashagwa, is behaving. They are saying he's rattled. That is why he's decided now to get back to his backyard and try to preach something to do with uh, Mount Kenya uh, unity and maybe try to foster that particular region, galvanize it, and make sure that he's as strong as possible. Because he's saying that with the uh, exit of, perhaps the potential exit of Raila out of that kind of a, a question, renders him somehow weak. What do you make of this kind of uh, assertions and all these people saying all these manner of things? Do you think that when Raila decided to perhaps work with the uh, president, so to say, I wonder how true that statement is, then that would perhaps uh, that would uh, actually affect the deputy president. Of course. Mm -hmm. When the prince uh, takes, makes a journey mm -hmm. to another kingdom, uh, to seek audience with the king of that kingdom, mm -hmm. and is not the heir apparent, mm -hmm. is not the, line, the next in line, the the, 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 the the prince who is supposed to be in line mm -hmm. gets a little worried. Okay. He thinks perhaps my brother is going to seek support from the other kingdom mm -hmm. so that when when my father, our father dies or something like that, okay. he can take over the throne mm -hmm. and bypass me, you know, that's something. So this is what happens in the palace all the time. Mm -hmm. That uh, relationship between the power powerful people always affect them in different ways. Mm -hmm. If the deputy president became cosy, you hear they are with Kalonzo Msioka, he's with Raila Odinga, he's with Eugene Wamalwa. Ruto will be concerned, naturally. Mm -hmm. What is my deputy president up to? Eh? What is he planning? Mm -hmm. is, are they planning to take on me in 2027? Likewise, when Gashagwa sees Ruto in dalliance with Raila, mm -hmm. he also gets concerned. What is the game plan? Mm -hmm. Because many people would think once the president has the Raila Luo support and the Mudabadi Luya support, he doesn't need Gashagwa and the Kikuyus. Mm -hmm. okay. So, I mean, that is how everywhere, that's how politics is, is, is played. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let, let's, let's believe it. Let, let's uh, first of all make people understand this. Do you believe that one, the president is working with the uh, former prime minister? in a manner that may be similar to what we witnessed uh, during the handshake between him and the former president Uhuru Kenyatta? It may, not, it may not be as direct and as perhaps impactful mm -hmm. as the one between Uhuru and Raila. Mm -hmm. For obvious reasons. One, many, many people made it clearly known from both sides of the divide mm -hmm. that they don't want another handshake. Mm -hmm. So even if Ruto had wanted a handshake, he'll be cautious. Okay. He'll be careful because people didn't, don't want to hear anything about the handshake again. Mm -hmm. They blame the handshake for very many things. From where I stand, wrongly, because they don't understand the situation. Mm -hmm. But that's what people think. They think the handshake is responsible for a lot of mess in the country. Mm -hmm. And the people have made no secret about it. They say they don't want a handshake. So mm -hmm. even if Ruto wanted to engage Raila in that kind of relationship, he'll be very, very cautious. Mm -hmm. And therefore, it could be this similar, mm -hmm. but this, the form it takes and the manner it is executed will have to be a little different. Take mm -hmm. care of those sentiments. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. But here we are. So you are saying that, well, in as much as uh, that is happening, that kind of direct relationship between them is not actually uh, being seen here. But then we are having a situation whereby the deputy president is on record saying back then 
that he'll be on the watch and he'll make sure that there would be no entry route whatsoever for Raila Odinga. Now things have changed. And even recently, you saw Raila uh, hosting delegates from uh, uh, out of the country, of course, visitors who come in, go there, and, and, and he's the one who welcomes them, hosts them, and actually sees them off. Do, do you think this could actually be uh, also part of what we talk of, or rather, as, what we term as jitters? Uh, you know, it's not a question. From this, it, it may okay. be jitters as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, it may be, but that's not, I think, the real problem. Mm -hmm. What Gashiaga was saying mm. about Mitego State House, about handshake, mm. about what? I have told you that was the feeling in the country. From both sides. Mm -hmm. People didn't want anything to do with handshake. They wanted Ruto to govern mm -hmm. and not to attempt to enter into any handshake with Raila Odinga. Mm -hmm. People strongly felt so. So mm -hmm. Gashiaga was just echoing what people were saying. Mm -hmm. Of course, as an interested party, it will affect him more directly. And some of the things you'll be saying now will not just be because that's what the country feels, mm -hmm. but what he also feels. Because he could be feeling threatened. Mm -hmm. yeah. do, do you think he succeeded in doing that? Pardon? <laughs> Did he succeed in Kweka uh, Mitego? Mitego is a Chinese maid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> made in China, so. Panya uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mitego. No, these Chinese things, some of them can be very useless. Mm -hmm. Yes. But what would actually, how, how does Raila become a threat to Rigadi uh, Gashago? How does he? How does he become a threat to It Rigadi gives Gashago? Ruto the comfort that he doesn't need Mount Kenya. Mm -hmm. With Raila on his side and Mdavadi, he, doesn't, he, he, may, he may think he doesn't need Mount Kenya. Okay. And, that's why I've, and I've been warning Ruto not to go in that direction. That thinking is, is counterproductive. It actually is harmful to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't trust anybody. Don't trust Raila. Because the moment you destroy your relationship with the mountain, you become so vulnerable, Raila will run against you. Okay. And it will just be something is going to peak on the ground. It will be already fallen. It's a fruit already down. Raila will just pick it, yeah. sit under the same tree and begin munching the fruit. Mm. Yeah. The same same Raila whom you said is yes, going to Yes, he's, thinking going he's to giving the you the AUC. comfort. Yeah, uh -huh. he's giving you the comfort to disregard Mount Kenya. Mm -hmm. Once you have antagonized Mount Kenya to the point you have parted ways, mm -hmm. then Raila sees... You are underbelly. So you're saying it's all about the comfort? Yeah. Because somebody would be wondering, with Raila's, maybe if he successfully vies for and, 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 and clinches the AU chairmanship uh, uh, seat for that matter, for that particular council, then that would be, mean that he would be out of the national politics hearing. And, and that is why I was asking, how then does he affect the deputy president? You know, you know this thing you can read, it. there are even bigger games at play. Uh -huh. Raila being roped into a relationship with Ruto may, be, may go beyond Ruto and Raila himself. They are outside forces. There's no, there's no secret that today, this country, we are receiving a lot of orders from IMF and World Bank and other powers. It's not a secret. It's not a secret. Some of these taxes, the president on his own will not bring them on board. He's being pushed. His hand is being pushed. Many people think so. I also think so. I could be wrong. They could be wrong. So, the idea of Raila buying peace by working with Raila may be beyond Ruto and Raila themselves. Mm -hmm. So other forces may want them to work together. In the same context, you must then view this AU job mm -hmm. so that you are permanent, permanently you have sufficient peace in the country mm -hmm. for those people to have a field day by introducing all manner of things they want to do in this country. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Now, that, that, does, does a proper serious working relationship between uh, Deputy President, uh, between, between Raila Odinga and uh, William Ruto, the President here, in render Rigadi Gashagwa irrelevant in the political matrix? That's what some people may cal be calculating. Mm -hmm. People who are not well versed in politics mm -hmm. and who don't understand the politics of this country mm -hmm. may be thinking so. And they may actually, together with the President, think it can work. My advice to them is to not work. Mm -hmm. Simply to not work. A rebellion from Mount Kenya will spell doom to William Ruto. There is not, it's not anything I want to discuss. Mm -hmm. No. No. A rebellion from Mount Kenya towards the president will play, spell doom to the president. Mm -hmm. Whichever way they decide to go with their five, six million votes. Mm -hmm. And the easiest way for them, they can take the plunge. Because if they do so, Ruto may not be the number two.
The number two may be somebody else, and therefore they can either get or somebody else get. Mm -hmm. But the surest route, if they got annoyed, is to give Kalonzo. Mm -hmm. And that's game shot. What would be Ruto's biggest gain from working with Raila? Should he clinch the AU seat? Peace in the country. Mm -hmm. Stability in the country. Mm -hmm. And I'm afraid that stability, not just to develop this country, but to give foreigners a field day to do certain bad things for the, into this country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. uh, it's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. But that sort of peace will be more beneficial to outsiders than to us. Mm -hmm. We are used to a, bit, a little noise from Raila Odinga here and there, and we put ourselves in check. But now, if you create the platform, mm -hmm. and the Raila absence in the country will create that platform, mm -hmm. where anybody who wants any experiment, any bad things from outside, will do it in this country, mm -hmm. and there will be nobody, there will be no voice. Mm -hmm. yeah. If it is peace and stability, why would peace and stability antagonize the deputy president? I, I've told you, the deputy president may not be the direct, it may not be directly aimed at you. Mm -hmm. And I think I've explained it very well. Mm -hmm. But the deputy president is also a human being. You cannot wait until you confirm that there was nothing. They say, please, even if you trust your neighbors, lock your house when you go and sleep. So that, that's what Gashagwa is doing. Mm -hmm. He's merely locking his house before he goes to sleep. You want him to leave his house, his door open because the neighbors are good people. Warabu mm -hmm. and Amini jirani wako lakini funga ngamia wako bwana. Okay. Sasa kashago anafunga ngamia wake. Mm -hmm. Lakini anawaamini tu. Mm -hmm. and, and you know feeling feeling betrayed feeling at risk feeling like this thing may be taken away from you is normal. Okay. It's very normal. Mm -hmm. And kashago himself may know actually there's nothing like that. But he can use this to galvanize the community around him. Mm -hmm. Look, in 2020, when William Ruto took on Raila Odinga and Kibaki, mm -hmm. you think he was a fool in the 2010 constitution? You think Ruto believed he could beat them? Of course. No. He wasn't. He was using it strategically mm -hmm. to galvanize his community and put them behind him. And on top of that, add the pastoral community. And he succeeded. Mm -hmm. So the 2010 constitution gave Ruto an opportunity to test his influence in the Rift Valley mm -hmm. and beyond. Mm -hmm. So it made him put the entire Rift Valley mm -hmm. community behind him. And then he approached the dwellers and the rest of those people mm -hmm. in the pastoral is, arid is, areas is, is that the same and thing loaded that, them on top. Is that the same thing that made him lock out the Mois from uh, yeah, the Rift Valley region? Yeah, that's what he did. Mm -hmm. So opportunities like this can help Gashago, for example, now to put the entire Mount Kenya together. So he may not even, he may know, he may be convinced there is nothing like that. Mm -hmm. He excitement ya vijana, vijana kinandini, nyoro, kinasudi. He may know this is just kawaida. Mm -hmm. And I like Mandago. Mandago is a serious man. Mm -hmm. I, I think Mandago, he makes me happy. Mm -hmm. Aliambia gashago, you are ndama kikunya maziwa. Ina ruka ruka. Let mm -hmm. these boys run. But we shall, you know, it may just be that these boys, let them call them, let us call them boys for now. Mm -hmm. Because they are our boys. Mm -hmm. Like, these are my age, these are my children. Mm -hmm. So these young people, ni kama ndama ime kunya maziwa ya kutosha. So it must jump, jump. There may be nothing beyond that. It may just the excitement of young people holding money they have never had, mm -hmm. getting power and influence they have not imagined they could have. Mm -hmm. And there could be nothing beyond that. Ruto could have nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. And Nakashagwa could as well be aware of that. But use it strategically. To consolidate his power mm -hmm. around the mountain. Hmm. Here we are. The deputy president said, of course, getting back to what we were saying as we conclude this conversation, here is that he laid traps for the uh, former prime minister. Yes. You're saying those traps were fake and therefore they did not actually work. Yes. And then he finds himself in this uh, tricky situation. Yes. Whatever he did not want is actually now happening. The president is assumably working with the prime minister. So how then does he work this out so that it doesn't affect him in any way politically? Gashagwa? Yes. Mm, I don't know what you mean by affecting politically because he's already affected politically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how is he going to survive, actually go ahead and navigate this thing that is not affected by any by sort losing of... His... By, by, by any sort of any working, good working relationship between the president and the former prime minister? Yeah, those ones can do their own thing. Mm -hmm. Gashagwa can use that thing mm -hmm. 
to build him his base. Mm -hmm. And that's what he's doing. And also, mm -hmm. to make sure he's a running mate in 2027. Hmm. And, and that is why I was saying, because yeah. the traps were meant to keep Raila. Away. Away. Because away. Raila could come but and Now mess. he successfully got in. Yes. So how then... Now you use the... Uh -huh. the you, you, you now point the fingers. Some ile nyumba, mm -hmm. shetani ya mengi ya ndani. Mm -hmm. kuna, kuna shetani pale ndani. Okay. Tujichunge na hui shetani. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and na ataenda ku poison race wetu bila ali poison uhuru mm -hmm. and people listen to you mm -hmm. of course it is not true mm -hmm. but that's what people listen to say so, yeah by the way mm -hmm. and then that draws people to you that draws people to you in politics is about getting the numbers mm -hmm. it's about putting the numbers on the table how you get these numbers is not important mm -hmm. yeah. but you get the numbers and put them on the table so what Gashagwa is doing mm -hmm. he's consolidating his power mm -hmm. using the weaknesses thrown at his way his enemies, if you want to call them enemies, mm -hmm. are making it so easy for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Very easy. Mm -hmm. If I was Gashoga, every day I go to sleep, I just laugh. That would mean he continues with this onslaught against the former prime minister and take him head on now. You don't need even to do that. Mm -hmm. No. In fact, in fact, have you heard him attacking Raila? No. Don't. 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 Leave it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Why would you attack Raila? Just let him be with Ruto. Mm -hmm. Just say, at some point... Mm -hmm. And that cannot be before 2027. After 2027, you can see, you can now begin talking about the wasted years. Okay. We started this thing very well. We, we found empty coffers. We were trying to revive the economy. Then this guy sneaks in. Now look. <laughs> <laughs> Which okay. is not true, of course. <laughs> uh -huh. But that is the sort of stuff that people listen to. <laughs> yeah. So he is going to play his political he just stance, do, he, right? he, Let's put it this way. Mm. Gashagwa is just being a politician. Okay. He's taking advantage of every wrong move the president is making. Mm -hmm. Wrong in quotes. Every move the president makes that seems to antagonize Gashagwa. Mm -hmm. Every move that seems to betray the understanding they had. Every move the president makes that seems to betray the Kenya Kwanzaa dream and way of doing things. Mm -hmm. Gashagwa is taking advantage of that. Yeah. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is it uh, from Professor Haman Manyoro here. And of course, you've heard what he said. You can weigh in, uh, in on this conversation and tell us whether you think that the kind of relationship that we have right now between the president of the country, Honorable William Root, of course, His Excellency therein, and the former Prime Minister, right, Honorable Raila Molo Odinga, could be actually uh, responsible for the kind of uh, reactions that we are witnessing from uh, the Deputy President, Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa. And of course, we are still on the ground we keep tabs on everything that is taking place in this country and across our borders. And we are more than glad to bring you up to date with comprehensive analysis of the same. Till we have this conversation again, have yourself a lovely day. My name is Evans Okini. Okay.